snap out of it. My apologies, sir. Where were we? We were discussing your behavior and actions in recent months. That's right. What about them? Cut the bullshit. Ferguson, you've always been one of my most respected and trusted soldiers in the field. Why is it that I never even talk to you in this godforsaken room sir, about why you would? I have committed no wrongs here. I feel that I've been doing what the military should have been doing since their arrival. You are a soldier of this military and absolutely forbidden from making decisions without our consent. And as a soldier of this military, it is my duty not only to uphold the defense, but also to uphold the rights of the people. Rights? Must I remind you we were nearly wiped out? We are in the process of rebuilding our civilization. We can barely protect the civilians, let alone give them rights. Ferguson, I've always respected you, but you undermined my command. Civilians somehow escaped our control, and now I believe that they are taking up arms against us. And I believe that you may have had a hand in this as well. Now that I have your attention again, I'm afraid I must inform you that we're putting you in front of the firing squad for your disobedience. You know, I would rather face the firing squad than to serve a military whose only purpose is to rise to power. But I understand. Now that there's no other power in the world left to stop you, might as well just slaughter those who stand in your way. You disgust me. So preoccupied trying to take over the world, you didn't even notice it was a scouting party. How can you not see that that's what I've been trying to tell you? There's more where that came from. They're gonna come back here and wipe us out for good. We need to focus on rebuilding our people rather than pushing them aside. We push them off our planet. We show them that we are a species of great resilience and power. Now we must focus on rebuilding our military. And if that means using the civilians, then so be it. That was just the beginning, Riley. You have no idea what's coming next. And to answer your question, yes, I was aiding the rebellion. 